Borders is back in the D14, specifically here in the Paya Lebar region where there has been lots of transformation happening over the past few years as well as more to come in the following years. So today we are heading to something that's a bit more different. We are heading to an office space here at Paya Lebar Square instead of a home tour. So we are heading up to a 957 square feet office space with a premium stack facing. Let's go check it out. Exactly, is Paya Lebar Square located at? So just behind me is where Paya Lebar MRT Station is. So we are just one minute walk away from Paya Lebar MRT Station, fully sheltered and just within one minute direct access towards the office space itself. And at Paya Lebar MRT, you can find your east-west line as well as your circle line and one stop down towards MacPherson, that's where you also have your downtown line. So it's definitely a very central location if you're looking to get into the Paya Lebar region itself. Paya Lebar also enjoys a really sweet spot if you do not need to be in the CBD area, yet you still want to enjoy all the convenience it has, as it's only about 10 to 12 minutes by train towards the CBD area and towards Jewel. And in this immediate vicinity of the Paya Lebar MRT station, we do have Paya Lebar Square, Singpo Centre, as well as Paya Lebar Quarters, and all these are three mixed development use buildings which also means that employees or people who are working here will be enjoying lots of amenities and for those who are driving the PIE as well as the KPE are just within minutes drive and we are heading back into office you also have two main drop off points for those who are taking grab so you have the office drop off tower itself or you can also drop off at the mall section itself so you do not really have to worry about a heavy traffic flow as your office area as well as the shopping area has been nicely segregated So in this office space itself, there are three main zones that we can find. The first zone is your reception area right here. The second area is where your pantry is and it's also the place that you can have your photocopy machines. So this room right now is more like a blank canvas. They are just using it as some of your storage space. And I think this room itself can comfortably fit in probably about six all the way up to maybe 10 sitters. So you can do it either row by row or you want to do it side by side. Or you can also do kind of like a U-shaped configuration to probably fit in more people. And in fact, this room can be one of your office meeting rooms as well. Right, so now let's head on to the last room. This is currently being used as a director's room. So similarly, there are not much built-ins here. So meaning to say that if you do want to change this to kind of like maybe another meeting room or to accommodate more offices, I think that you have a lot of flexibility in this room to do so. Right, so now let's talk a bit more about Paya Lebar Square itself. So Paya Lebar Square is a mixed-use development. It has a 99-year lease starting from 2011 and a TOP back in 2014. So it has a gross floor allocation of 80% office use with 20% for retail and it's designed by the award-winning architectural firm DP Architects. In total, you have 13 floors. So level 1 to 3 is reserved for all the retail shops and that consists of 159 shops. And the next 10 levels is where you can find your office spaces consisting of about 556 office units. Alright, so the units here range from 500 square feet all the way up to 43,000 square feet in terms of size. So definitely lots of different kind of floor plans and different kind of setups for you to choose from. Alright, so this unit is standing at 957 square feet. So this is suitable if you're an SME or you're looking for either own use or in fact for investment purposes. We think that this size here is just nice and suitable for you. As we take a look at the floor plans here, predominantly in Paya Lebar Square, there are generally more units that are of a smaller configuration. Other than that, there are also a handful of units with a larger configuration. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more in between, for something that's suitable for a small medium enterprise, then we think that this unit size at 957 square feet will be suitable for you. Alright, so we are located in Stack 5 itself. We are in between Lift Lobby 1 as well as Lift Lobby 2. So this puts us in a really sweet spot as we have the center access towards either ways. Lift Lobby 1 is also where if you are driving, it will be the most accessible for you. There's actually a separated Lift Lobby for between the shoppers as well as the office space itself. So in fact, at Lift Lobby 1 as well as Lift Lobby 2, there are a total of 12 lifts that serve each level. Each level has about 57 office units. So for those who are taking the public transport, Lift Lobby 2 will be your choice as it's located right just next to Pai Leba MRT station as well as the main bus stop. And the walkway towards Lift Lobby 2 will be fully sheltered. Whether it's rain or shine, employees will not have to worry about the weather conditions when they're heading to work which is also an added bonus for you. Alright, so by being in Stack 5, that really puts us in one of the more premium stack facings. 
there are generally four kind of facings that you can find in Paya Lebar Square. The very first one is fronting towards Lifelong Institute, the second one, Sing Po Center, the third one towards Paya Lebar MRT, and the last facing will be the internal facing, which is also where we are located at. So each set of facing definitely has its own sets of pros and cons. And if you're after something that is quieter and you want to face internally, then our unit here will be a good consideration. Alright, so our main door faces towards east and our full height window is where the west side is. So where we're overlooking into some water features as well as the roof terrace garden. And I think that this set of windows really allows all the natural light to flow into the office space itself, which definitely helps to build a conducive working environment for all your employees as well. So if you do enjoy getting lots of natural light flowing into your office space and you also do enjoy this garden view, then only stacks 1 to 7 in the entire Pai Leba Square comes with this view. Alright, so here is also some renovation ideas for you. So as all these here are actually just partition walls, what you can choose to do is to bring down all these walls to suit your own use. So perhaps if you need a little bit more meeting rooms, and what you can do is to segregate more meeting room zonings out. Also, if you prefer something that's a bit more open concept, then what you can do is just to reinstate um, this entire place to a blank canvas, bring all those nice furnitures, give the entire space a fresh coat of paint, and I think you'll be good to go. Alright, so now let's talk a little bit more about the master plan developments that's going to be happening around the entire Paya Leba region. As part of the URA strategy to decentralize and bring jobs closer to home, Paya Leba has been identified as an up-and-coming commercial hub. So sitting at the gateway of Singapore's eastern commercial hub, Paya Leba Square is well positioned to benefit from the rejuvenation of the Paya Leba quarters, the Singh Po Centre as well as Park Place residences, thereby transforming the precinct into a dynamic and vibrant business hub. So Paya Leba Square is one of URSA's larger decentralization strategy in the concept plan. There's also been plans to transform the entire Paya Leba airbase, so that's going to be relocated to free up a massive 800 hectares worth of land, and that's actually even bigger than Amokyo or Bishan. So this land will be used for residences, offices, factories, and therefore Paya Lebar Square is tasked in an extremely advantageous location as many companies are relocating from the traditional CBD to the Paya Lebar area. Not only do you get more residents, more homes, more office spaces as well as more entertainment choices in the Paya Lebar region, that's going to add a lot of added convenience as well as amenities to rejuvenate this entire area. Alright, so now Sean who's back in our studio is going to share with you guys more about the pricing as well as the market trends around the area. So first and foremost, let us dive into three main points on why owning an office space here in Paya Square is such a unique opportunity. So firstly, if you are looking for an office space to run your business, owning an office space here in Paya Square will allow you to have more clarity in terms of your business spendings. So you will not have to worry about your landlord increasing your monthly rentals in the years to come. And at the same time, owning an office space will allow you to wait for the potential capital appreciations when you do decide to move from this office space to another one. Secondly, owning an office space is very special as well because in Singapore, some of the office spaces are actually owned by the developers and cannot be truly purchased. So take for example, if we were to take a look at the Paya Labour areas, we realised that if you are looking for an office space, there are three main considerations here for you, namely Sing Post, Paya Labour Quarters, as well as Paya Labour Squares. So out of the three, only two office spaces are only for rentals, which are namely Sing Post as well as Paya Labour Quarters. So only Paya Labour Square office spaces can be truly owned, and I think that is something really special. So lastly, in terms of its connectivity and conveniences, I think we've got you covered in all angles here. We are located just right beside the Pai Leba MRT stations, which is a dual line that connects the Circle Line and the East-West Line together. So in terms of connectivity, a few stops down from the East-West Line will lead you to spots such as Galang, Bugis, as well as CBD areas such as City Hall and Raffles Place. With the Circle Line, one stop will bring you to MacPherson MRT station, which is a downtown line, and that will lead you to more dual line stations such as Serangoon as well as Bishan. Over here, there are three main malls for you to pick from, namely Paya Square, which will be filled with restaurants, cafes, and other health and wellness options. We also have the recently revamped Sing Post, and it is seen as a place of lifestyle and family entertainment areas. There is a letable area of 178,000 square feet. Lastly, not forgetting about the Mega Mall of Paya Lebar, which is PLQ Mall. So this mall actually houses 188 stores, ranging from supermarkets to your food amenities. So this is definitely going to be a very good attraction factor, whether you're looking to run your own business here or looking to find a tenant. 
Now, if you take a look at the three main properties in Singapore, you will find that they are the residential, commercial, and industrial properties. So what makes commercial properties such a unique asset class is that there are no seller stamp duties incurred. And what this essentially means is that you can buy and sell this property the very next day. And this will allow you a lot of flexibility in terms of your business planning, as well as your property investment plans, whether or not you choose to hold the property for years to come, or in any sense, choose to dispose the property the very next day. Furthermore, the buy stamp duty here for commercial property is fixed at 3% of the purchase price minus 5400 so what that means is that no matter the purchase price the stamp duty will always be fixed so this is unlike residential properties where if you were to purchase a property that is 1 million and above the stamp duty will then be taxed in the range of around 4% and furthermore being a full commercial property itself foreigners and PRs can fully purchase this property so just to note as well this unit is currently owned by a GST registered entity so there will be additional 7% GST that will be incurred in the eventual purchase price so this can also be refurbished back to you if you are a GST registered entity yourself. And for this, you may seek out assistance from your corporate services or the tax person that you're working with. So of course, if you are looking to invest in an office space, you would also be thinking about the rentability of the space itself. So being close proximity to the MRT stations and having full shelter access into the office development itself, you will also be surrounded with three mega malls that will provide amenities and also ease day-to-day -day living. So whether or not you're a tenant or a business owner yourself, having these conveniences here for you would definitely add a lot of value in terms of your day-to-day -day living. So now let's just touch a little bit more on some of the numbers here for our unit in Paileman Square. So at the current moment, the asking price for our unit is at $1.99 million negotiable. This unit is currently owned by a GST registered entity. So if we break down the investment for this unit, the 7% GST would be at a rate of $139,300 and the buy stamp duties would be at a rate of $54,300. So let's say right now, if you were to purchase this unit as an investment property that is currently tenanted with the bank interest rate of 2% and the loan tenure rate of 30 years with an LTV of 60%, your total down payment for the unit will be at $796,000 with a loan amount of $1.194 million. So if to break down the monthly investments for this unit, it will be at $4,414, which we can further break down into two different parts, the principal and the interest. The principal amount would be at $2,423, while the interest rate is at $1,990. The reason why we have broken down into two different parts is that because the principal is the amount that is saved into your property every month while the interest is a sunken cost in your property every single month. So coming back to the total upfront investment costing that we touched on earlier, the total down payment will be at $7,960, which you then have to include the GST as well as the buyer stamp duty, which will then work out to be a total of $989,600. The current unit is tenanted at a rate of $5,000 per month. So this would leave the monthly positive cash flow at about $586, while the monthly principal that is safe into your property at $2,423. So if we were to take a look at a yearly basis, your yearly positive cash flow would be at $7,032 and the yearly principal will be at $29,076. So that will put the total RI amount at the range of $36,000. So if we divide by the total down payment of $989,600 and divide by the total down payment amount, it will work out to be a total RI amount of 3.6%. So if let's say you are a GST registered company, the total down payment would then be in the range of $850,000 as the GST can be claimed back. So that will put your yearly RI at about 4.24%. So in terms of the rental yield percentage, we can calculate by the monthly rental. So take for example, the current rental of $5,000, that will put the yearly yield at about $60,000. So take that amount, divide by the current asking price of $1.99 million and that will work out to be a rental yield of 3% per annum. So if you are an investor yourself, you would then also be looking at the rental performance as well as the capital appreciation growth in the property. So let us dive into that for the unit here in Paileba Square. So based on the data from Asian Pacific Trends Report, Singapore's commercial real estate is recovering to its pre-pandemic phase. The investment activity for Singapore has also increased year on year at about 223%, which equates to be about $1.35 billion in the third quarter of 2021. So in terms of office transactions in the D14 areas, we have also done our research on that. Looking at the data charge from 2018 to 2021, there is a stable volume of office spaces being transacted in the years of 2018 to 2019. So in the year of 2020, there was also a dip in office transactions due to the pandemic. Now coming back to recent times in 2021, the volumes have also recovered back to pre-COVID season. So there is also a strong demand in the D14 areas and we can see the demand not only flowing in the D14 but in the CBD area itself. 
So in terms of its rental performance in the recent times, having a look at the rental records along Pai Leba Road, we can also see a revive in the rental transactions at the tail end of this year. Looking at the data, there are a total of 27 rental transactions in the month of August 2021. The general monthly rental rates are ranging between from 15 all the way to 20 plus onwards. So if you are a landlord yourself, you will see a revive of take up units in the office spaces. So we have also taken a look at the capital appreciation growth in the office spaces for Pai Leba Square in today's current context. To date, there have been about 108 profitable transactions out of the 120 recorded, with the analyzed profit ranging between 1-2%, to with a time frame between 2019 to 2021. So the highest ever recorded analyzed growth is at 3.1%. So this would definitely indicate a stable growth potential if you are looking to invest in an office space. So taking into account some of the capital appreciation growth, this would definitely help to positively add to our ROI calculations that we have done earlier on. So at another flip side of the coin, if you are looking to use this office space for your own use, how would the numbers then actually look like? So let us break that down for you. So if you are looking for an office space rental, the LTV percentage will then be up to 80% with the bank interest rate at 2% and a loan tenure of 30 years, that will put the total loan amount in the $1.5 million ranges. So if you are a non-GST buyer yourself, the GST rate will be at $139,000 with the total cash outlay at 20%, which is about $398,000. With the buy stamp duty at $54,000, that will put the total outlay in the range of $590,000. Now, if you are a GST registered company and you are able to claim back the GST, so that will leave the outlay in the range of $452,000. The monthly repayment will then be in the range of $5,884, with the principal being in the range of $3,200 and the interest at $2,600. So to have a more kind of defensive approach, if let's say we were to own this office space here in the span of 10 years, the only cost incurred would be the interest itself. So to put the figures out in the chart, your interest rate will be at $2,600 and if we were to spend that across in 10 years, the total interest occurred would be in the range of $316,000. But if we were to have a more a rental approach, if we were to rent an office space, in the rate of let's say $5,000 per month, that will put the total cost in the 10-year span in the range of $600,000. So what this means is that if you choose to own an office space in Pai Square in a span of 10 years, that would mean a total cost saving in the range of $281,000. So this is nearly half of the cost savings that you will get to enjoy if you choose to own an office space in the years to come. So if we were to have a more positive outlook in the office space in Pai Squares, we have taken a look at some of the analyzed gains for the property in recent times. So they do range between 1-2%. to We can take uh, analyzed gains of 1.5% into our properties and how would the figures actually look like? With the current purchase price at 1.99%, if we were to have an analyzed gain of 1.5%, uh, that will put the total and investment goal at the range of 2.3 million, which is a capital earnings of $321,000. And what this essentially means is that the interest that you have been paid towards your banks for the cost of 10 years essentially can be absorbed by the capital appreciation growth for your office spaces in the future. So bringing back to the interest of the property that was paid throughout the course of 10 years, it will be in the range of $318,000. So what this means at a conservative capital appreciation growth over the course of 10 years, you would be essentially using the office space for free as the capital appreciation growth have actually covered the interest rate for your monthly mortgage. So going forward, we do see that office spaces are steadily coming back in demand as life returns to normalcy. During this pandemic, we also get to see a lot of startup businesses using office spaces as the economy starts to open up. We also get to see a lot of office spaces that are being integrated with the MRT station as well as the mall. And with the pandemic, there is a change in office spaces demand and having close proximity to the MRT station as well as shopping centers will definitely be an attraction factor whether or not you are an investor or a business owner yourself. And furthermore, in Pai Leba areas, Pai Leba Square is the only office spaces that you can truly own and that allows you to have more controls over your overhead spendings whether you're venturing into expanding your businesses in the future. So if you like what you've seen and you do want to head down for a physical viewing, do contact our listing managers. Their contact details can be found in the description box below. For more contents, do also follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube as well as TikTok channels. My name is Sean. My name is Kaylin. From Brothers, always, always happy, happy to show, to show, you, show the you the place. place. You also have your photocopy machines over there. Um, okay, one more time, sorry. <laughs> 
okay, okay. <laughs> Same coffee machine also. <laughs> and in fact, this room can be... <laughs> sorry. And in fact, <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay. Do contact our listing managers. Yeah, 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 wow. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Kaylin Leong. My name is Sean T. Studio shoots are not my thing. Actually, home tour things are not my thing. Can you record this and tell Melvin enough already? I'm not going to do it.